Hi everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. I promised you I would talk about the national championship game on today's DD and I'm a man of my word. I am doing great. TCU, how are you? You, you, you okay? Is you, your, any flight troubles getting back? Were you welcomed back? Look, if you didn't watch the national championship game, the final score was, I think, I forgot to write it down, Georgia 792 to 10. I think that's what it was. Um, TCU looked overmatched, disinterested. They, they looked ill-prepared. It, it was just a disaster, a fiasco from the very start that didn't even really give a good comparison of the two teams. The gap isn't that big, but it was on Monday night. Credit to Georgia that was the favorite and showed up like they were the underdog with something to prove. And that's how you win back-to-back -back national championships. Congratulations to Georgia. Of course, Kansas State lost to Alabama in the Sugar Bowl, so the elite upper crust of the Big 12 does not compare very well to the elite upper crust of the SEC. And I'm not sure anyone in college football can make that comparison right now. I think everyone out there struggles to match the year that Alabama and Georgia in specific can hit. And that's really going to be an ongoing problem for all other programs. For example, this little stat that came out of Alabama's win over Kansas State, you know who the second highest paid individual on the Alabama football program was behind Nick Saban? Quarterback Bryce Young making more than $3 million in NIL money. That is just something that nobody else is going to be able to match that kind of national attention and the donor engagement that would lead to those huge numbers. And it's troubling, and it's going to be a problem, and we all know it. In fact, everyone knows it, and nobody seems to really care that it might destroy the game we love. But that's okay. In the new Big 12, uh, you're going to see some programs rise up and try to challenge. And there are going to be some issues with that. It is obvious. The gap in talent was already there because the four and five stars are going to where the most money is. And that is not in Manhattan, Kansas, or even Fort Worth, Texas. It is in the SEC where they literally put their money where their mouth is, and congratulations to them on that. They're using the rules to their advantage, even if they used what was against the rules to their advantage in the past, or so we suspect. But I'll say this, it was a very good year up until the ending for the Big 12. They did not have good bowl matchups and they showed poorly in those bowls. But here we are, a new season's around the corner. Kansas State is gonna make another run at a Big 12 title and Texas and Oklahoma are around for at least one more season before they go to the SEC where I suspect they won't compare to the elite teams in that conference.